Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Vlogtober Day 4. Today is October 4th, <laughs> uh, 2021. Today is also, also National Cinnamon Roll Day, which is one of mine and Jessie's favorite sweet snacks. So later today I'm going to make some cinnamon rolls, just the kind of a can. And uh, I found on Pinterest <laughs> how to mix the icing with food dye to uh, make orange and green. So I'm going to fold the cinnamon rolls before I cook them in such a way that makes it look like a pumpkin. And then cook them and then put the icing on there. And they're going to be pumpkins because <laughs> of October. So I'm excited about that. I'm hoping that uh, Jesse is excited about it when he gets home from school. I'll probably cook them right before time to pick him up so that they'll be cooled off by the time we get here and he can eat some because he loves cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I do too. They're like our favorite sweet thing. Anyways, I got some happy mail the other day. What is today? Today's Monday. I got this Saturday. <laughs> this is from uh, one of my good friends and she sent me some baby stuff. So I wanted to share with you guys. Okay. First here is the card she sent. She makes paper craft things along with crochet and uh, sewing and all kinds of stuff. So she's very crafty. So she, this is the card this is to someone special. She also sent these two little books for Jessie. They are like comic books, but they're a Toy Story one. So it's like a comic book. And she also sent a Mickey Mouse one for Jessie. So we'll read those to him. We always let him hit that right there's his books. <laughs> Some of them, there's a big pile in the bedroom because every night when we read them, we just pile them up and then eventually I'll bring them back in here. <laughs> but it's still piling up. So we'll put that in rotation. <laughs> so she also sent baby stuff, like I said. So first she made this adorable little sweater that is so stinky cute. And I can't wait to see June in it. It's a really pretty green color. It's probably blown out. It's so cute. It's got like shells on the sleeves and the bottom part here. I think I've made this sweater. This seems really familiar. This seems a lot like the one that I made recently, but it's sleeveless. <laughs> but it's so cute, and it's got little ribbons. So it's just a cute little sweater. Fold that up and put it right there. And she sent some baby clothes. These are bigger sizes, which is good, because a lot of people always buy the little sizes at first. So this is a 12-month little romper with Minnie Mouse on it. There it is. It's like tie-dyed, which is right up our alley. It's got Minnie Mouse on it. That is so cute. That's gonna be so cute on her. I already know. <laughs> and then this little outfit is a onesie. It's got a flower. It's pink and white stripes. And I believe it came with these little shorts. That's got a well on it. And it is nine months. Is this nine months? Yeah. So it's a little set. But that's the butt though. Here would go that way. <laughs> I'm not that good at modeling these. All right. And then there's these cute little jeans that are six to nine months with a ruffled butt. We had Jesse some little jeans like this when he was born, but he never could wear them because he was so pudgy. <laughs> so I don't know if she'll be able to wear these or not. They're pretty stretchy feeling um, if she comes out pudgy like Jesse did. But she could come out thinner. But Jesse had rolls. He was chunky. And then a cute little shirt with ladybugs on it, and it is a six to nine month. Cute little t-shirt and this is a little long sleeve shirt that is a year and it's got Minnie Mouse on it it's kind of like, feels like a sweatery type material that'll be good because when she's a year old it'll year old it'll be cold because that'll be January February 2023 all right she also sent the most cutest little baby booties and matching mama booties I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be taking mine to the hospital. I told Devin I'm gonna put them in my hospital bag for delivery. So here's the baby ones. I don't know if it's got a size in there. It's got a tag, but it's really small. It's a zero to three. A little fuzzy, and it says baby llama in like silver glitteriness. Little cute little booties. And then the big ones say mama llama. And they're fuzzy as well I can't wait to wear those but I'm not gonna wear them because I don't want to mess them up before I take them to the hospital I'm gonna wear them at the hospital and I want to take her little booties with her because it's gonna be cold when she's born we still haven't figured out what we're gonna bring her home in yet we uh, 
I don't know, because it's gonna be cold, so it needs to be something warm. But not nothing thick because of the car seat. So I just have to put a blanket over her. You know, it's just I'll figure that out. <laughs> I got a few more months to worry about that. And then she also made and sent me a junk journal thing. <laughs> I've always wanted one of these. I'd love to make one myself, but I'm just not paper crafty. I've tried that plenty of times and it's just it doesn't come to me as easily as like crochet and stuff like that. But she made me a Halloween one. So there's like it had this ribbon around it. But I opened it of course. So it's a junk journal, which if you don't know what that is, um, a lot of times they're made out of scrap papers and junk. Like a lot of people use boxes from kitchen things, you know, like like popcorn boxes to um, make the pages so that you can stick pictures in there or write little notes. And then the people who are really good at paper crafting <laughs> make pockets and they put these little tags in there. So I'll just kind of flip through it. So there's the cover. It's got my two favorites on there. I love Frankenstein's monster for some reason. He's just, I've always been drawn to him. So he's all over my house. <laughs> and there's his little wifey poo. And up here it says boo hoo. <laughs> and there's these cute little clips. That one's got Frankenstein on it. It's like little tiny close, uh, close pins. So this is the, is this the first page? Yeah, this is the first page. And whoops, there's, it's like a bag. And there's paper in there for you to pull out and write stuff on and uh, attach pictures to. And then that fell out with some little tags that you can write, you know, notes and things on. And there's little pockets that you can like slide stuff down in. It's really neat. I have all, dang it, they're falling out. <laughs> I've always wanted one of these. I see them all the time where people make them. And I'm like, I want those. I love paper craft things. When I go to craft fairs on the holidays, I always go to those booths and I always buy a bunch of stuff. I don't even need it. It's supposed to be like for give, gifting and I usually keep it for myself. But near this page, little tags trying to jump out. Cute little decorations little spiders and little spider web ribbons and each one of these pages is a pocket like a bag little stickers Oop, more tags falling out <laughs> I should have angled the camera down but whatever you get the gist though there's that one it's got like little potion bottles and a place to rot so I had just talked about where I went to the thrift store and got that Christmas thing to put our Christmas photos in from ever since the year me and Devin started dating to now. And then I got this in the mail. <laughs> I mean, her was talking through Instagram. And uh, she said, now I have one for Halloween too. So I will probably do that. I have a, I have folders on my computer, which is over here. Every time I refer to my computer, that's what I'm referring to. <laughs> that right there. Because my laptop, bit the dust. <laughs> it still works, but it... It runs so bad. It's got so much crap on there because I take a lot of photos and videos. <laughs> so now it's basically a hard drive. Another one. Anyways, I got two albums on my desktop. One's called Christmas and one's called Halloween. And I have all the pictures, like the main, the good ones that I want to get printed eventually. From the year Devin and I started dating to current last year. Of both of those holidays that I've been meaning to print because I want to hang them up. Like, uh, like collage photo frames, you know. And then add every year to it as you know the kids get older and all that to see all their costumes and stuff that's like my plan <laughs> i've seen someone else do that one of the the crochet pattern designers do that i think it's i think it's repeat crafter me but i can't exactly remember it's one of the like bigger uh pattern designers she does that she puts them in her hallway the halloween pictures every year and that's where i got the idea to do that but uh yeah what am i saying yeah so i'm gonna do that with this so I can go through there and put from the time that Devin and I started dating pictures and just little notes and um, you know like write down what Jesse dressed up as his first his first Halloween he was a pumpkin because he was five or six months old I can't remember now he was almost six months old because um, November 1st he would have been six months old um, his second year he was the Tin Man <laughs> from uh, Wizard of Oz. The third year, he was a Red Power Ranger. And then he was a Blue Power Ranger, and then he was a Red Power Ranger again. <laughs> no. He was Red, Blue, Spider-Man. Last year, he was Spider-Man. And this year, he's going... He has two costumes. So, I don't know if he's going as a Samurai or if he's going as uh, Venom. Because I let him buy two costumes because he's spoiled. <laughs> but, um... I'm not sure which one he's gonna wear on Halloween night. He might switch them out because we like to go to trunk or treats and things. So he might wear one to one thing and one to another thing. 
uh, I'm not sure, my hair, by the way, it's up on top of my head because I just took a shower and I didn't want to get my hair wet today. Anyways, sidetrack as per usual. I'm feeling a lot better today so far. It seems to come like that, like in spurts. Uh, yesterday evening, I started feeling a lot better. I had a little bit more energy. And this morning so far, I have, I just haven't done anything <laughs> other than take a shower. Um, I picked up a few little things, you know, the way us moms do. We just randomly clean as we walk throughout the house, you know. We took Jesse to school today. It's pajama day. I'll insert a picture of him wearing his um, Mario pajamas. He was so cute. And it was so cute in the drop-off line, seeing all the other little kids get out in their pajamas. And it was just so cute, seeing all the little kids with little house shoes and stuff. I was going to send Jesse to school in his house shoes that look like dinosaur feet. But he has gym class today. So I, I went ahead and put him in his tennis shoes. So that he um, doesn't hurt his little feet while playing. Uh, he likes to play on the scooters, he says, and stuff like that, so I don't want him to hurt his toes. <laughs> so, um, tomorrow is sports, favorite sports team day, but we don't do sports here. I love hockey. Devin watches hockey with me because he's, you know, he watches it with me. But, like, Jesse's not interested in sports at all. And we don't have any sport, like, clothes. I have a hockey um, hoodie. <laughs> but, um, so Jesse won't be dressing up for that one. Because I don't want to put him in just anything, you know. But that's fine. And then Wednesday is Wacky Tacky Day, where you just wear, like, goofy clothes. Thursday is, like, a school pride thing. It's supposed to wear the school colors, which is red and white, which is, like, so normal. It seems like every school just about has red and white. Um, and then Friday is school picture day. It was supposed to be last Tuesday, but they had to move it for some reason. So Friday, he'll get his pictures taken. We got the little order thing for his yearbook, which I'm definitely gonna order. When I seen that, I was like, yes, of course, because I want all those um, for me to keep. And I can't wait to get his school pictures back. <laughs> I hope that he smiles decently, but he has like a fake smile that he does in photos. But it'll still be funny if he does that because it'll be funny for when he's older to be like, look at your face, you know. But uh, yeah, and then next week he's off for fall break all week, so. He'll have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. So he'll have, what, that's nine days off of school. Uh, we're going to do the pumpkin patch next week if it doesn't rain. I think it's supposed to move out in a few days. Uh, yeah, so I'll be I'll be vlogging that day. Hopefully I feel good that day. Um, we'll do the pumpkin patch. I can't, I can't think if there's anything else. We're wanting to do Boo at the Zoo again. But I'm not sure if we'll be able to squeeze it in next week. I'm going to have to wait till a little later in October. Just because of Devin's work schedule. Because Jesse's off of school, but Jess, Devin's not off work. So, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Anyways, it's been 13 minutes, me sitting here talking. <laughs> so, I need, now I need to put all this. Now that I've showed you guys this baby stuff, I need to put it in my big old box of baby gifts. That I'm trying to keep clean until the baby comes. And away from Jesse, because he likes to prowl through it. You know, how kids are. And, uh... I'll leave these out so he'll see them when he gets home. He'll be excited about it. Put my card with all my other cards. I might put it on the mantle for a little while. I got my Halloween card right there <laughs> that I got from my swap partner, which I need to open my bag here in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of getting full there because I got that little skull from her right here. There's a flower in here that I added that has the eyeball because those flowers anyways have little eyeballs. So I thought I'd go get in there. And the candle, where did I put the candle? The little skull candle is over here somewhere. I can't see it in the phone. It's by Frankenstein, I think. I think it's right there. <laughs> so I'm slowly filling up that area. I've hidden my candy since Jesse stole my Laffy Taffy yesterday. <laughs> so I have a secret hiding spot in there with my sewing stuff where I keep my candies away from Jesse. Because he's, he's, he's rude. He steals my snacks. He, me and him snack on the same things. So he always trying to get my snacks. <laughs> Anyways. Um... Yeah, I crocheted a little bit this morning. And grab it. This is a Twisted Swancho by Sorella. I feel like I might be making a bigger size than I am. But it's supposed to be loose and flowy. It's kind of like a poncho, you know? So, I'm just going to stick with it. Worst case scenario, if it don't fit me, I can give it to somebody. This is yarn just uh, Devin got me a while ago. That's how much I got so far. I've got, I think... Oh, uh, I don't forgot. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 21 and a little tiny bit <laughs> rows. And for, this is the back panel. It's supposed to be 80. I supposed to be 80 rows. That's going to be way too big. 
this is already the size like the length of my stomach right under my chest to my like where your pants sit a little bit lower than that if I knew because this is 20 rolls that'd be three times bigger than this that'd be down past my booty I don't know. I'm going to have to mess around with this. <laughs> I like to, when I make my sweaters and things, I always try stuff on as I go. And then I just alter it by how I want it to fit. So I'm going to definitely have to do this. Because this is going to be too big. I'm making the 2X, no, the extra large. Because I read on the pattern to make it uh, one size bigger. No, one size smaller. Oh, I am making the wrong one. It's supposed to be one size smaller because it's so roomy. So I should have been making the large. Oh well, I'm just gonna tweak it. I'll figure it out. But that's that would def if I make this three times bigger than this, it's gonna be like a dress. <laughs> Cause it's already it's already about halfway the size it needs to be. Cause I don't want it hanging down past my butt. I want it to be cause it's kind of twisted in the middle in the front. If I can think about it, I'll pop a picture of what's supposed to, you know what it's gonna look like. I don't want it to be super duper long. I don't know. I'll just have to tweak it. I'm glad I looked at that. I'm glad I like measured it against my body. I don't really do that though. Like with my um, everyday cardigans, they're a little tweaked. I didn't do all this, the rows. Like if I did the sleeves the way they're written in that, they would have been like that much longer off my hand. <laughs> I had to cut, I think 16 rows off the sleeve to get it to land, you know, like here. Cause, um, or else that, you know, they've been flopping around everywhere. But yeah, so I've already been talking for like 17 minutes. I took a clip of a squirrel <laughs> we went over to Devin's dad's house he had to pick up the cutting board he left over there he cleaned it and left it there to dry so we picked it up um to bring it home and because it's right beside Jesse's school they live right beside his school <laughs> so I stayed in the car and was just looking around and I happened to see a squirrel so I was filming it and um I recorded a little bit of me crocheting this morning and watching some tv I was catching up on some new uh vlogtober videos people put out yesterday and this morning and uh yeah so now i took my shower i'm clean i'm lotioned i'm all that stuff because i felt like doing all that today normally when i don't feel good i just take a quick shower you know but today i felt like doing everything so i, I shaved i did my feet regimen you know where you like use a pumice stone and <laughs> all that stuff you know um lotioned up everything i need to do my face still i didn't put my moisturizer on because i didn't feel like it <laughs> but i'll do that later um yeah, so I wanted to go get a pedicure, but I'm scared because I've never gotten a pedicure before. And um, I'd like to go get one like now sometime. <laughs> and uh, I would like to get one in January before I go into labor. So it'd be nice to have nice looking feet when I do go into labor. <laughs> Since they'll be all in a lot of people's faces that day. <laughs> but um, and I want to start getting manicures again, but they're just so expensive. I like doing my own nails. I'm just really bad at it. I always mess it up. I have really nice nails. I always get compliments on them when I do go get my nails done because they're really healthy and they grow um, really nice. Like I used to, when my sister, when we were teen, not teenagers, but early 20s, she would go get acrylics and I would just go get my actual nails done. Uh, I would just get my real nails done. They would shape them and paint them and put that gel on there, you know. And uh, it would last weeks because I had really nice, healthy nails. Uh, I'm lucky so far they're not brittle, brittle or anything. My mom and sister both have brittle nails, is why I say that. But they both have anemia, I'm pretty sure. Uh, iron deficiency anemia. Um, so that might affect that. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'd love to go start getting my nails done again. It's just, I hate, I can't justify the cost. Because <laughs> even when you get your real nails done, it's still expensive, you know. And, um. I know that you're paying for quality. It's worth it if you have the extra money. I just can't justify it in our budget because there's other things I'd rather spend that money on than you get my nails done. But if I tell that to Devin, he's like, just go get your nails done because um, he spoils me rotten, which I love, but it also annoys me because I'm a budgeter. I'm like really big about our budget. You know, I try to stick to everything a certain way. So when it gets out of whack, I go crazy. <laughs> but yes, all that to say, I want to go get a pedicure, but I'm scared to do it because I've never had one. And I'm afraid of all the things that they use <laughs> on your feet. And I'm afraid it'll hurt a little bit. I'm also a little self-conscious because my feet, you know, your feet are weird anyways. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I might, my mother-in-law gets them done, so I might see if she'll go with me one day <laughs> so that I'm not alone. Or my sister-in-law, maybe. She's 18, so I'm sure she'd go with me. But, uh, we'll see. 
I don't know. I've been talking forever because I feel better today. So I'm going to hopefully feel better later. Um, I'm going to share my cookie recipe too. I'll just, um, cause I had a couple people, Terry from your Android podcast and a couple other people asked about it and I will put it in the description box. I'll type it out cause I'm not sure where it originally came from. I've been using that one, same one for years and we went through, Devin and I made like a dozen cookie recipes trying to find one that we loved and we went through like 12 of them before we found that one and I can't remember now where I found it. It's handwritten in my recipe book so I'm assuming it was from a book that I probably got at the library or something um, and I didn't write where I found it from because I guess at the time I wasn't thinking about that you know like the way we do when we find patterns we always say who they're from. I didn't think about that at the time with that recipe but it's our absolute favorite because they come out fluffy like tall and they're so soft and chewy on the inside they're like mwah, the perfect chocolate chip cookies we've been making them for years now and i haven't made them in a while so uh, when i made them the other day it was really good we've eaten them all <laughs> except one one of jesse's is still in there with his uh, little eyeballs on it but um yeah i like to get up in the morning and eat those <laughs> for breakfast i know it's not the healthiest thing but i mean some people eat donuts and sh uh, sugary s cereal and muffins for breakfast it's the same exact thing as eating a cookie um but i like to eat those in the morning with something to drink and it's just good but i will share that in the description box below so you can copy it and print it out or something and um i might make them again soon because the boys really liked them and i still got some chocolate chips left and um if i do i will share the recipe in that video while i do it it'll be like a recipe video uh i might do that the next time devin's off so that he can watch jesse while i'm doing it <laughs> i don't know we'll figure it out but I'm going to hop off here for real this time and uh, relax for a little while because now I'm talking so much I made myself tired. <laughs> but, uh, I, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later today. This is going to be a long vlog because I talk a lot today. <laughs> okay, it's been a little while. <laughs> I just got done editing um, a moving stitch video and getting it up. But I wanted to open up my day four. So today it is Gomez and Morticia Adams. Day four. So, let's open it. Oops. Oh, I tore the tape today. Not that it matters. <laughs> I'm having a hard time opening it. Oh, so the yarn today is, ooh, <laughs> it is sparkly red. This looks like Karen Party, I think is what it's called. I have some of this too. <laughs> That's funny that we all have like the same yarn. I can't remember what it's called. It's like Karen Party or something like that. Uh, I have a bunch of it in red and green. Because it went on clearance at my Walmart a few years ago and I bought it. Yeah, that's gonna look nice. Put that there. And then there's a good bag. I see Skittles. I'll have to hide those from Jesse too because he loves Skittles. Hold on, I got a phone call. Go away. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in here. Two more little candies. Oh, these are this is a strawberry and a cherry candy. And a little Skittles. What is that? Oh, oh my gosh. These are like little cameo uh, pennants and pendants, <laughs> and they um, are skeletons. Let me see if I can hold them both. Those are make cute earrings. My ears aren't pierced, but I am planning on getting them pierced after I have the baby. I've had my ears pierced multiple times, and they always close up on me, no matter how long I leave the earrings in there. But I have never gotten them professionally pierced either. Because uh, other times I was younger and just was stupid and went to the places where they do it with a gun, which is really damaging to your ears. Um, but we have a piercer now. Devin used to have a bunch of facial piercings. I used to have one over here. I think you can see the scar. <laughs> Adam Monroe piercing <laughs> over here somewhere um, when I was younger and cooler. <laughs> and I took it out uh, when I was pregnant with Jesse because I was afraid of him grabbing it when he was a baby and it just it closed up but Devin has his ears stretched and he has uh he had an industrial bar he has a septum pierce he had an eyebrow he had snake bites I think that might be it I can't remember but uh, that's what we did as dates when we were first started dating <laughs> we'd go to a place here it's in our local town and we got to know the piercer and the tattooer really well but anyways I'm gonna go to that piercer and get them to actually pierce my ears the correct way and uh, hopefully then they won't get infected. I had my ears double pierced, I had my Monroe, and had my belly button done. But again, I took that out 
when I got pregnant because I was already having a lot of issues with it anyways. And um, I didn't want it to stretch out really bad when I was pregnant, so I just got rid of it. Anyways, <laughs> all that to say, these look like they would be really nice earrings. So I'll probably save that for that purpose uh, sometime next year when I get my ears done professionally. And hopefully they don't mess up on me. Yeah, those are cute as heck. Put these back down in there so I can hide them in my secret stash. And then today I'm also going to open one of the extra gifts. She said I can open them whenever. So I thought today would be a good day to open one. So here it is. Some kind of globe thing. <laughs> Wrapped in bubble wrap, which I will have to give Jesse If I can even open it. <laughs> it's got tape on it. Okay. On the other piece of tape. Okay, I'm getting it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, there's one piece for the bug. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. I was just listening to Christmas music while editing. My house is decked out for Halloween, but I listen to Christmas music. Package just very well. <laughs> I'm just shifted it there. Telling my neighbors. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, oh my gosh. She said she made this too. Oh, cool. It's like a. What are they called? They're not called snow globes. What are they called? I forget. But it's like one of those. Um, Is it something like a terrarium or something like that? I can't remember. It's got a skeleton and a gravestone, little spider webs, and a fence. That is so cool. Oh, there's there's a skeleton hand too. Oh, where am I gonna put it? I have to find some space over there somewhere to put it. That is so cool. I forget what these are called. They have a name, but I can't remember. This is neat. I need some of these things. I wonder where she got this at. She says made in China. Oh my gosh, I need like a hundred of these so I can make all kinds of Halloween and Christmas these things. What are these called? Someone tell me because I can't remember. They're not snow globes because they don't have liquid in them. They have a name. I know they do. I just can't remember what they're called. That is so cool. It's glary because it's got the window open. Yee, I'm going to go put this somewhere. I don't know. I'll find a place for it. And I'm going to put that bubble wrap in Jesse's room. He'll be excited about that when he gets home from school. Dinner is done. It is baked ziti in the crock pot. I'll share that um, recipe below. I got it from Pinterest, so I'll link that below. And then in the oven is Jesse's pumpkin cinnamon rolls cooking. All right here's the icing. Mixed food coloring in. You're supposed to take like one fourth of it for green and the other three fourths for the body of the pumpkin orange. So, Devin just left. Devin just left to go pick up Jesse. It's about time for him to get out of school. So I'm still here because I already put these in the oven. So they'll be, they should be nice and cooled off by the time he gets home. I made a mess in the kitchen. I always make a mess, but that's all right. We clean it up later. Um, but yeah, that big ziti, I probably should have half that recipe because it's a big amount. I mean, the whole crock pot is full. So we're gonna be eating that for a few days, I told Devin. So hopefully it tastes good. I tasted a little bit of it to make sure the pasta was cooked through and it is, so it's off now. And we're gonna eat when Devin gets back. And Jesse can have cinnamon rolls. I think he's gonna lock them. My hair is crazy. <laughs> I didn't wash it today because it doesn't need to be washed, but you know, it gets a little wet just from splash. So now the parts that did get wet are like frizzing up. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm about to pull those out of the oven. They're about done. And then I will let the let them cool just a little bit and then drizzle that stuff over it. And then I'll take a picture and insert it um, for you guys to see. Here they are right out of the oven. To make them pumpkin shape, you just gotta unroll it just a little bit and kind of tuck it. They come untuck a little bit. <laughs> uh, to look like the stem. So that part I will put green on and this part will all be orange. I'm gonna let them cool down for a little while first so that the icing doesn't just melt and drip everywhere. But there they are. And my parchment paper is all crinkled up because if you, when you rip it off the row and then you crumble it up into a ball, it will lay better and not try to roll around on you. 
So there's a tip. I think I've said that before, but I'll say it again. So there's my there's my cinnamon roll pumpkins. I'll probably eat some of these too because I love cinnamon rolls. But these are mostly for Jesse. He'll eat some now and probably some in the morning for breakfast. So there we go. Look at them. They're so cute. I let them cool down a little bit and then I put icing on there. I think they're so cute. He's gonna love them. He'll be home in a few minutes. Rose. They look like pumpkins. Is that real cinnamon? It's the same icing. I just colored them. What do you think? 